So today I'm going to teach you 10 different tricks on your Samsung Galaxy phone. This is One UI 7 S25 Ultra and I'm going to teach you just a little tricks what you need to change on your phone to make your phone much better. One UI 7. So let's get started. First of all, the first change on the One UI 7 is actually the toggle bar. You can see this right now. This toggle bar is actually back to normal. But initially, it's not normal. Because if I change this again, it's supposed to be like this. If you actually just got a One UI 7, you will notice when you scroll down, it is end up like this. And now if you want to see your notifications, you have to go from the side, which I hate that because sometimes I just cannot swap right away. So in order to put them together, you need to press a pencil, go to panel setting, and then you want them to put them together. So once you put them together, now it's going to be back to normal, like one UI 6.1.1. Okay, so this is how you do it. You press a pencil, go to panel settings, and then together. Then the second trick is, it's actually down here on the toggle bar. You can see I'm not using the new version, you know, which there's a, just a line. I'm using with a button because it's easier for me to take a picture if I just press the camera, and if I press this, I can take the picture right away. How do I do this? A lot of people ask me how to customize the notification bar. So the notification bar is actually, if you go into your good log, which this is very important if you have a Samsung device. So good luck right here. And then get into here. And now you want to go to Navstar right here, the Navstar. When you see there's a button there, you want to update your Navstar. So now we go in there, you can see this is actually your bar right down there, okay, the notification bar. If you want to change this, you can actually go to new, okay, and then you go to button layout, and then you go to add button, and then you can add any button you want. Now let's just say if you want a screen capture, so you do screenshot all the time, you press this, it will end up at the top there. Now you can actually put with whatever you want, okay? It just depends how you want to place your fingers, and then press done, and then press save, and the last part is you make sure that you select the one that you are making. Now you can see it switches already. You can see right down there, it's switching already. So number three is, we are gonna talk about this button right down here. This is just like a small little thing right down here to do whatever you want, because this is just a shortcut, okay? So I do the translations for my shortcuts. But in order to make this, it's actually quite easy. You go to the accessibility, which I'm gonna go right down here, accessibility, okay? and then you go to advanced settings. And then you can see accessibility button. This is the button we're talking about right here. So in order for you to you know, do a shortcut, like a, there's a button right here, you can actually control whatever you want. You go to select action, and you select here, whatever you want. You can actually select multiple of them. But if you want to just do one, make sure you just select one and that's it. Let's just say I don't want to do live translations. I want to mute all the sound, just like you know the iPhone on the side. You can press this and now you can see the button right there. So every time when I press this, it will mute all the sound. So there's a, this a features you have to set it up. I think it's pretty useful and you should set this up too. So every time when I play YouTube videos, I, I want to turn on the disturb mode. So the call doesn't disturb me or the message doesn't disturb me because I'm actually watching something. So in order to do that, I think this is pretty, pretty useful is you have to go to the setting and then you want to go into mode and routine. When you go to the mode and routine, you can actually add a mode and routine right there at the top here. You press that. So every time when you are playing something, okay, app open, and I say maybe YouTube, okay? And I don't want people to disturb me when I turn on my YouTube watching something, right? So I would say, don't disturb. 
This is actually very, very important because if you are super, if you're watching something important, you don't want anyone to disturb you, right? And you just go done and then that's it. Now, every time when someone message you, you cannot see it because you're watching YouTube. So you're going to remember why you want an Android device or Samsung device because of the multi windows. What I'm trying to tell you is if you are looking at something and you want multi windows, you just need to press this two button. Okay, I'm gonna show it to you, two fingers. Up. And now you can actually select another features or another windows. Now you can do two windows at the same time. This is actually pretty, pretty cool features because Android device can do two apps at the same time. So the first of all, you're gonna to go to the settings and then you're gonna to go to Right down here should have advanced features. Once you go to advanced features, there's this, this thing called multi windows. We're gonna to go to multi windows and then swipe for split screen. You can see they show you how do you do a split screen. Even for the mini screen, you can do from the top down and then you can control the corner as well too. But now we're gonna do the split screen and then that's it. Now, every time when you do something like this, okay, and then now they will ask you, what do you want your second app? And then you press that. Now you can do two screens at the same time. Number six features, a lot of people should know about this by now, but if you still do not remember, you can do circle to search. Anytime when you see something that is super interesting, you press this and then you circle. And then right away, they will tell you what this is. Okay, you can see this AI will tell you what this is. And then pictures, or sometimes if you look at a product, they will tell you how much is that product. So let's just say if I have this item right here, I turn on my camera, point at it, and then I do circle to search. Okay, and then now you can see it's already circled to search. And then now it will tell me what this item is about. Okay, you can see that. They even tell you what the brand is and then they will tell you what is the price. Every time when you listen to a music in your cafe or whatever, did you know that you can also use circle to search, press this music button. You can see that there's a music button. Now they can actually read your music and they would pop out what the singer is or the actor is or, or, the, or the singer is and then that's it. What is the song, what is the singer and then they will show you everything for you. Pretty, pretty amazing. So every time when you have notifications like this, did you know that you can actually just drag this, pull it out, you can make it to a mini screen or you can make it to a split screen if you want to or just a mini screen. So what does this do is, if you are actually running a super important uh, message, you're typing and stuff like that, and someone just try to message you and you don't want to close this, you can actually just pull it out and your background will not exit. At the same time, your message will pop out in front of the, your whatever the message you are. So you, not, you don't have to exit this window or this app and, or, and then you just have two windows running at the same time as well too. Very simple and easy and this is super super important. If something just pop up just like that, just hold it and just drag it out and put it in the middle and then that's it. You don't have to interrupt your original app. So the next one is, is actually right here. You can see there's a lot of apps right here on the One UI 7. You can actually just drag it out and then pull it out, you can make it a mini screen or even a multi window as well too. So in order to do that, it's actually quite easy, just pull it out. You can replace whatever you want, you can replace like this too as well too. Super simple, you don't have to look for your certain app. If you use a lot, uh, if you use certain app a lot of time, right? you can just go put it right here and then just drag it out every time when you need to use it. And then if you want to, you can press a pencil, you can put whatever the app in here. Make sure that put the app that you use the most, not all the apps, only some of the apps. And now you can just 
quickly like oh you don't want this you can put it in okay and now it end up like this and then now i put it out and then it's gonna be my multi window it's simple simple features i know it's so simple but a lot of people not doing this as well okay if you look at your phone you still didn't do it it's actually when you hold uh like very very important apps facebook instagram calling messaging whatsapp whatever right if you hold and you can see there's a lot of shortcuts right here and now you can hold this and drag it to your home page and now you can actually put the shortcut right here so let's just say if you always put story inside your instagram you can hold this and then say new post let's just say you hold this and then now this is a new post or if you want to post something for yourself, you can press this and then now you can start already uh, putting things in for your for your Instagram. So you can post stories, you can put anything you want, just like that. The final, final features I would like to show you is, is actually if you going on something on your calling, did you know that if you go like this, it's call? And did you, if you go like this, it's actually message. Blue is message green is calling okay very simple easy so if you actually quickly need to call someone you don't have to tap this and then tap call you don't have to do this anymore you can just go like this you can start calling right away all right please subscribe my channel and share this video and i hope this video helps you thank you very much and have a good day bye bye peace out